This is so pathetic, I must confess. Judging from her look and everything, the expression, it's so obvious that Adama Luke is really traumatized as we speak because the whole world is against her. Now, Adama Luke is out to speak up, to speak and narrate her own side of the story. Let's now know who to actually blame in all this. So please, listen from the beginning to the end to find out what exactly happened to Junior Pope from the producer of the film that actually took the life of this promising and young actor. Good morning everyone. My name is Adam Maluk. On the 10th of April, we lost five of our members who were on their way to work, on their way to location, through the means of boat transportation had an accident. I've been so traumatized. I've been so cold. This whole thing it still feels like a dream to me. Like I just wish I can still wake up from this dream. I've not been able to make any statements since because we've been trying to recover the bodies. I've been providing uh, providing for money to those looking for bodies. Provided the uh, caskets, ambulance to make sure the bodies were conveyed to their villages to the families that wanted it to be done I've not been quiet I've been doing this I've been doing this just so these people can rest It's so sad that this had to happen on my set. It's so sad. I blame myself that I would have been in Lagos doing my thing in Lagos. I blame myself for coming down to a Asaba. I was supposed to be on that boat. My production manager was calling me to bring the memory card so they can start filming. And I told him to come and collect it. He said, Mama, you know this place is far. Please just bring it for us. I said, okay, why haven't you crossed? Why haven't you gone to work? He said, they're waiting for junior book to arrive. I said, okay. Before now, on the night, they went there on their own. When Junior Pope came, he came on his own. He came alone. So, on this tent, while I was getting ready to go drop the card with them, I was accompanying with my brother's children two kids that were supposed to go with me we were supposed to be on that boat together getting there 
I saw Emeka. Emeka was my DOP. He was just sitting. I was surprised because I didn't see others. I asked Emeka, what is it? And people surrounded him. I said, Emeka, what is it? Emeka was quiet. Emeka talk to me. What what is it? What's the problem? Why haven't you crossed? Where is Ogolo? Where is everybody? Has JP come? He was quiet. I started shouting. What's happening? Somebody talked to me. Emeka now said. JP don't go. Abigail don't go. Friday don't go. All of them don't go. Precious. Don't go. Ha. I still don't understand what he meant by that. I don't know what do you mean don't go. Don't go away. Don't go away. Like they are not shooting again. Is there the day inside water? The day inside water. I said no. Let me go. Let me go and look for them. They started holding me. They started holding me that I should not go. I said let me go. Let me be there. Let me be sure the divers are looking for them. They said no, that there are over 15 divers inside the water looking for them. Hey, God. I still can't believe this. I still can't believe this because these crew members were my family. They were working with me in Lagos. If I'm shooting in Lagos, they will transport from Asaba to Lagos to come and walk with me. All through last year, we stayed together in Lagos. We were filming, walking together. This is my first time working with JP. It's my first time filming with JP. He's my friend. The wife is my friend too. I talked to the wife sometime and that was when she gave JP the phone and said, why aren't you giving my husband work? JP said, that you be my friend, why you not they give me work? I told JP that, you know you, my actual thing is this shit. I hardly do action. He said, no, say they do love story or they do other things. That's why he's an artist now. I said, yeah, that's true that I forgot that as an artist you can do other things. So we were ready before JP came that Tuesday afternoon. And that was when he made the video he posted. If you, if you all can see, he was alone on that boat that day. Because every other person has gone. Then on the third Wednesday that this whole thing happened, I was still in my hotel, getting ready because I was holding their card that they were used to film. The production manager told me they were waiting for Junior Pope. I said, ah, uh -uh, he has not come. Before I knew what was happening, Junior Pope called me. I said, ah, uh -uh, what's happening? I said nothing, what's up? He said, I'm calling you because of TC, what's happening? TC is an artist I employed for this job. Dochukumachi Okafo. I called him for this job. He was supposed to, he's playing a role as one of the boys in the movie. So I told, I told the junior pope that, what did he tell you? He said, because he's threatening that he's coming with boys to come and scatter your sets. 
that he's going to deal with you. I said, why will he say that? That this is the same thing he did on my set in 2021 when I employed him for a, a job. He started fighting the director that the director is not a DGN member, whereas the director is a DGN member. He was just fighting the poor boy. The, poor, the guy's name is Documents. If he's seeing this video, I believe he can attest to it. So this little uh, JP was like, Boy. So I told him not to stress me on the job. He said, okay, Ada, no problem. Just pay me my, my money, my artist fee, and the 3,000 naira for the lab. No problem. So he could leave one for me. I said, okay. I told Ogolo to handle it and sort it because Ogolo is my PM. I give him money to sort, to, to do transfers and buy things that's needed because I don't do all that myself. I give money to my production manager. He handles everything from bringing out artists, transportation and everything, feeding. He does all that. On that said day, I saw my director. They were outside. I saw a mecca too. So my director was saying that, Mama, I, I don't know what happened though. I don't know. He was on life jacket. A mecca, the DOP, was on life jacket. There was still one life jacket available. I don't know who took it, who had it. But my PM said, that day that they saw life jackets hanging there so they took it that even he even told friday the late friday to send one to Junopo. for that Junopo said it was dead so so, so he didn't take it this people with the life jacket survived and they also told me that when they were in the water trying to survive that junior pope was also there asking is everybody okay hope everybody is fine that they even threw a gallon to him to use and hold himself which he was holding that all of a sudden they didn't see him again it was when they came out that they noticed that he was no longer there because the same divers came and rescued some of them why other divers were still there trying to rescue others? Asked what would have caused this? Who would have caused this accident? He said uh, he didn't know, but that this was standing. This was standing on the speedboat and ringing bell.